Welcome to the Hippie Report, my dear sacred siblings. Today, uh, on the show, um, nothing new to talk about, just, uh, just, just checking in. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm using this weird tool to get high today. <coughs> it is very strange. Um, it is like a, uh, a, 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 but it ain't. Uh, and it's got a bunch of uh, fucking, like, juice of weed in it. Eau de weed, if you will. I will. What up, Wayne? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, Wayne. How have you been since, uh, last we checked in? Which must have been, you know, yesterday when we did the show. Or the day before, maybe. Glass of water, not a sponsor of the show. Glass of water, not a sponsor of the show. What's up, Mike Anderson? Welcome to the show. Don't drink a glass of water just because you saw somebody uh, on the glow box do it. You should do it if you want to, you know, but uh, I'm not trying to advertise to you. <clears throat> I'm glad you've been groovy, man. You deserve to be doing groovy, Wayne. Good for you. Todd, how are you doing? Beautifully, I hope. Isn't this a weird futuristic device? I like it. I went to the weed store today because somebody gifted me a couple bucks and said I could only spend it on weed. And I, I trust my audience. So I decided to uh, go to the weed store. And while I was there, they said they were <clears throat> out of the thing I was looking for, which was uh, a, a ton of weed. And um, they said, come back in an hour or two and, and we'll have it put together for you. I said, great, great. So I left and went to a different place because capitalism and um walked into that joint and they were like hey we uh we have flowers that you like to smoke we know you love flowers and i was like i do love flowers they seem to already know about me one of them uh seems to enjoy the show this very show about nothing where i just get high they should sponsor this uh show if they wanted to i'd, I'd just be singing their praises right now i suppose um <clears throat> but uh they were like, we also have these, this magic wand that you can point at your brain. And I said, ooh, I think that sounds great. So abracadabra, motherfuckers. What up, Pierre? How you doing, dog? One of the grooviest drummers on the front range. My main man, Pierre. We played together a lot. We, uh, we used to do uh, almost every week for a while together at uh, open mics all over the goddamn front range mostly at Grossenbart and Sky Brewing. Sky Brewing no longer exists but I don't think it's a reflection on how the open mic was doing. The open mic was doing okay I guess. We missed that brewery. God I love those guys. I love those owners of that place but also just like I just love that fucking spot. I loved hanging out drinking beers in that spot. Miss them. Uh, Pierre and I did a lot of gigging over at, uh, Grossenbart Brewing after that. And, uh, oh, I love doing that too, man. I don't know, oh, Pierre, I'm glad you're doing very well, sir. I'm glad you caught me. Happy 420. It must almost be. Oh. One day, ah, oh, sometimes I wear a watch to this show. And other times I just am lucky I have pants on. And do I have pants on? Is that anybody's business? Maybe it is. Um... Nobody else on the show again, though, today. Quarantine's still so active. Um, <clears throat> maybe someday soon I'll have somebody else on the show, even ever so briefly. Most people don't actually like to be on shows live. They find it to be stressful and strange, and that's what I like about it. So, What up, Karina? I hope you're doing very well. It's a beautiful day. Buy yourself a magic wand, dude. Did you know they're selling magic wands? They can't cut your hair, unfortunately, so I got the flips. My shit's uh, very flippy. I have very flippy hair. And uh, the longer it gets, the flippier it gets. And I'm sort of over it. Um, and uh, I'm ready for a fucking haircut. But my haircut lady was like, they'll burn me at the stake if I come over and cut your hair. And I was like, fuck. 
So I don't want her to be murdered by the fucking masses. So, <clears throat> instead, I will, uh, I will humbly wait until whenever she said it was. Hello, Hind. Oh, I hope you're doing very well. How, what's the weather like where you're at, Hind? Is it nice? It's sort of like overcast here, but I'll bet that, like, I'll bet it's different where you are. So, I'd be interested to know. He'd be interested if he knew that. He doesn't have anything to do with the information, but it'd be fun to have. Cheers. Glass of water, not a sponsor of this show. What, well, uh, I haven't watched British Parliament in a while. Do you want to put together, like, a watch party? Where we all can, like, watch some British Parliament and just laugh about it? I think I can host that on my page. Hi, Ashley, how are you? I hope you're having a beautiful day. What if we did a watch party? Would that be kind of fun? British Parliament watch party? I could queue up some really good clips or something like that. That would be really fun. But only really for natural born idiots. I don't people I I don't think that you smart people that are just here studying idiocy are gonna get it. But us natural born idiots, we're gonna we're gonna dig it. <clears throat> Martin, how are you? Martin, you might do pretty well in uh, British Parliament. You're not really much of a yeller, but you do carry a certain, like, wizardly uh, authority. What up, Matt? How are you? Oh, Matt. Of all the Matts out there, I just especially bless you, Matt. And all the other Matts can go fuck. You're the king, Matt. In your dimension that you're looking out from, um... You are truly the central mat. You are the fulcrum. You are the, the thing that we all, um, we all serve you, Matt. You're the true mat. Sup. How are you doing, Martin? I'm, do I'm glad you're doing well. Have you got one of these weird robot dicks? They're really cool, man. They're, um, they get you high and, uh, boy, higher than you think, I gotta tell you, you know? That's right, Matt, only you matter. You are the, the, the most Matt of all the Matts today. And I just, the simulation, we're not supposed to tell you this, <coughs> but nobody watches this show, so I can tell you, um, Matt, in real life, this whole simulation centers around you. And um, if I go missing soon from the simulation, or if my personality type drastically changes, just know that I don't regret being recoded. I think it was worth telling you, Matt. You are the most Matt. You are the central Matt. And I'll miss you if they, if they delete me. Hi, Jeffrey. How are you? Ooh, Martin says, just got so high to join in. I'm more of a fan of flour. Yes, me too, Martin. I'm also more of a fan of flour when it comes to smoking uh, cannabis. But, um, you know, when somebody gives you some, some kiz ash and, and you, you got to spend it on, on drugs immediately, <laughs> um, I was just looking for bang for my buck here. And I, I feel like I feel like it's working really good because I haven't smoked one of these in a long time, and I feel like it's just working gangbusters on me. Martin, simulation center, single point of existence, is the rule. Did I let out too much of the? Uh, did I let the cat too much out of the bag there, Martin? You think they'll come after me for letting Matt know that the whole simulation revolves around him? <sighs> Good thing we didn't tell that shit to Hind. Oh, she'd freak out if she knew the truth. That the whole universe really centers around Hind. Good thing we didn't fucking let that cat out of the bag. How you doing out there in the simulation, folks? Are you doing your task? Are you making it seem like it's this is all a real place? 
so that when player one walks by, they're completely enamored and drawn in with the beauty of it all. That's my role. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make it nice for you, you know? So when player one walks by, they kind of just get inspired and they go do whatever it is players do, you know? You know, maybe they don't have like a built-in code or something like that that makes them do stuff. I do. My job is to sit quietly in my room until people need entertaining and I go out there and entertain them. But then I know that I'm a CPU because I basically just go home and make stuff for someone else. For who? For someone else. I don't know. I just file it. I make my shit and I file it. You know? That's okay. I think it's kind of an honorable gig. What up, Peter Garland? Martin says, also another rule. Each time a player awakens, the game level has leveled up. Hmm. I know, right? Maybe I just made it harder for Matt. Did I just make the game harder for Matt because I gave him extra powers? Because I let him know that the whole simulation revolves around him? <laughs> Did I give him that too much power and now his life's going to get harder because the simulation is of course going to expect him to use the information put out to him could be it could be i don't uh, i wasn't trying to trigger that reality for poor matt king of us all oh peter i hope you're doing very well how are you sir now see martin we can't let peter know that the whole universe is for his enjoyment we can't let him know because that would make Peter's life perhaps harder, having that information. Peter, how are you, man? It's been a while. I hope you're doing very well. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Just hanging out, uh, smoking my weird thing that is not smoking somehow. I'm really good. There's about a 20 second lag. Yep, I think you're right. The universe is for your enjoyment. Oh, fuck. How did he find out? Martin, what the fuck? That was between us. When we talk like this, whoever we're talking about can't hear us. <coughs> I don't know why we fucked this up. Sorry, Peter. I'm sorry to have spoiled the game a little bit for you. Peter, this is just you and me now. The other people the whole world they can't hear us now this is the whisper rule on the show um, Peter I'm sorry if I can let that cat out of the bag for you man it was sort of like unintentional and now the, the simulation the simulation might get tougher for you because now now you know now you know that this whole thing is just a reflection of your inner self trying to like surprise you and dazzle you with something you already sort of know damn it fuck Hi, everybody. I'm back. I'm sorry about that weird buzz you must have been listening to while I was talking to my main man, Peter Garland, uh, owner of Brave Knight Media. You can find him on Patreon. I'm, I'm, I myself am a subscriber to him on uh, Patreon because I find his work to be very moving and creative. Um, you can go sign up uh, on patreon.com slash brave knight media, I think. That's knight with a K. You decide where to put the K. That's the cool thing about the name. It's Brave Knight, and you there is a K there. And you just, you can put it anywhere. And it works every time. You don't have to put it where it maybe like it ought to go, like you're thinking right now. But um, you could do that, Brave Knight Media. You could just type that in and just look him up, he's there. Oh, hi Martin, more to say, perfect. Oh no, it's happening so fast. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We may have broken the goddamn simulation a little bit, uh, but we can fix it because, um... Oh, because I'm a fucking uh, world-class idiot. So, like, that's how we can disregard the previous statements, you know? If, if we don't have to take him 100% seriously, and we shouldn't. Sincerely is nice, but not necessarily seriously. Um, then perhaps, um... Oh... We get away with saying an awful lot of true things. 
and them not crucify you for it or whatever. If the fucking man catches you saying too many true things, they crucify you or something like that. I read this book when I was a kid. It's about this guy uh, showing up in this kind of like rough town during like a rough time in history. Uh, and he's like, hey man, you know, maybe like a, we're all kind of cool and shit. And they were like, we're not all cool, kill him and shit. So they killed his ass. So like, you know, we should all learn from these kind of lessons. Martin says, I just re-entered uh, the page and am now correctly time-based. Wow. Martin has learned to time travel during this episode by refreshing himself or his page somehow. Peter Allen says, comedians tell the best truths packaged, uh, packaged the best way. Ooh, that's a good quote. I heard this great quote from a poet. Um, oh my God, I can't remember who it would have been. But they said, um, poetry is the language for which there is no defense. And I think that's a particularly beautiful um, turn of phrase. I think. But uh, that's sort of my thing, I guess. And I find lots of things beautiful. Um, that's like one of the skill sets that I am pretty good at is like I see beauty in lots of lots of ways and lots of people and I've made that practice and I'm not embarrassed of that at all hey Bunk how are you doing I'm gonna push that wave button at you wave I did it both ways I did it in the internet and with my hand Wow, that's a hell of a wave. And you're welcome, Bunk. You deserve both forms of wave. May my wave make your wave wave, man. Glass of water, not a sponsor of the show. Just having to come on the screen. Not a sponsor of the show. Weird uh, robot dick thing, also not a sponsor of the show. You know who the fucking sponsors of this show? Do you know who the sponsors of this show are? It's you, brought to you by viewers like yourselves. Uh, they hit me up on the Venmo every once in a while. Sometimes they earmark their gift and they say things like, um, this can only be spent on alcohol, or this can only be spent on uh, weed, or, um, you, know, you know, just give me money, which is great. Uh, because the fucking paying my bills is wonderful. And not everybody wants a painting. Did you know that? That's the hard truth of the world. Not everybody wants a fucking painting. So, you know, the, the world's tough like that. Oh, Bunk Hess is waving back. Oh, do we feel it? I feel it. Do you feel him waving? Oh, man, his wave is making my... Oh, God. Oh, look. Oh, look, it made me wave, too. Oh, my God, did it make you wave at home? Are you stoned? Oh, you're not stoned? Oh. That's cool. That's cool. Um, you probably didn't wave, but you might have waved. And you know what? Um, I give you fresh permission to wave. I'm going to wave at you a little bit. Maybe I'll get you to just wave a little bit. If you, if, you fucking, if you feel like waving at a screen in the middle of your day, um, then you might be on the right page for this show. Because this is, this is a show for taking it easy and being a little silly. That's why we don't talk about very many serious things on this show. And when we do, by accident, talk about silly, serious things, uh, boy, we try and back out of it quickly. Remember when we did that whole episode about Sean Connery chewing funny? That was real. Pierre waved. Good for you. Thank you, Pierre. I feel Pierre's wave. Do you feel Pierre's wave, uh, other anonymous viewer that I don't know personally? Hello, in the future, probably. Hello, future people. Um, may, your, may your future be a bright one. Because I'm going to share it with you, of course. But uh, I hope it's a good one for you, whatever. Pierre and Peter, we're all riding the goddamn wave. Bunk Hess says it's 420. Well, what do we do on this show when it's 420? Well, we should do what people do when they're in quarantine. Can't be driving nowheresville. Welcome to 420, everybody. Have yourself a little Tokyo thing. I'll tell you something. This shit works as fuck. Happy 420, Wayne. 
You know, <clears throat> I've really appreciated the people that have uh, run into me in the world and let me know that they have been watching this show. It's way more people than I realize. <laughs> and, um, and that that just, I don't know, that feels really good to know that, that people out there are having fun with us. And um, and to know that it cost me so little, honestly. The, the effort level over here is low. So I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Jules, how are you? Oh, we miss you, Jules. When they let those airplanes fly again, I'm going to come fly to Vegas. And I will have like... Um, a small group of people that probably would be interested in running into me in Vegas. And, like, I'm just thinking I should let all the locals just sort of carry me off. And and I would just be so happy if you and your dear man were around and wanted to have a, a cocktail with Orlando. I haven't been to Vegas in a long time. I miss it, though. I went there one time. <coughs> Excellent time. I would do it way better now. And, um, you know, I just, it's time to go back. I think I might have to make a Vegas trip. It's so cheap to get there from here, from Denver. Fuck, Dex, dude. It's, it's like a $40 flight or something like that. So, I think I might just have to do that. That sounds a lot of fun. So, it's going to be a guest voice on that. Peter, you've never been to Vegas? Homie, let's go to Vegas. When they lift the quarantine and when it's cool for everybody to go to Vegas, it's only like, it's probably like 80 bucks there and back. And you know, you got a hotel room. Fuck that. You don't really need that hotel room except for when you're passing the fuck out. So, uh, I'm thinking not, not very expensive either. Or stay at somebody's house, you know. That could be a good thing. I think that could be a real good thing, man. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be super expensive. That's just my opinion. Uh, to drive around and look at pretty lights and, and smoke weed, which I think they have in Vegas now, which is nice. Good for them. Freedom rings. God damn it. Ring-a-ding-dings. That freedom. <sighs> Are you doing a good job at home, folks? Are you maintaining the freedoms? You got to maintain your freedoms. Because, um, frankly, um, if we don't use them, we lose them. That's it. that's my, that's Orlando's opinion. Old Orlando's opinion about it. Anyway, this uh, weird uh, magic wand thing I've been smoking from today is, is like a, a never-ending, so I shouldn't just smoke it all now. I should whip my clothes back off and get back out gardening. So that's probably what I'll do. Uh, ooh, Cassie, good to see you. I think there might be like a 20 second delay between when I see you show up or something, but um, I just saw in hello. <laughs> oh no, Hen, Hen's busting us. She's right, we, we do talk about a lot of things on this show. Ooh, and I'm sorry for the TV people. If you're watching this on TV, I know that you probably hate when I touch the screen. But you know, man, life's just tough. And if that's really the thing that's bothering you, is that really what's bothering you? Seems like a funny thing to get all worked up about. Pen and then I mean, maybe like something else Ooh, might be going on with you. Just a thought. <laughs> Anyway, nice to see everybody. Oh, I bless you with a thousand yes voice blessings each. And then a bonus, an extra bonus of 50,000 yes voice blessings if you just don't call right now. Because I'm about to go gardening. So by not calling, you actually win the bonus 50,000 blessings. And uh, after I'm done gardening at some indefinite point in the future, you're totally welcome to call me again, man, because I miss your presence. And uh, really, I just wanted an excuse to go garden and give you a bunch of points about it. Oh, if you garden, it's a good day for it, folks. Longmont, Colorado, 
good gardening day here. Ooh, spend your yes voice blessings. Oh, so wisely. And just spend the rest so unwisely. 